Anaheim family is not giving up. Their six-year-old son was kidnapped and murdered 25 years ago. They think they know who did it, and they're still pressing the sheriff's department to solve this case. KKLI's Orange County reporter Dave Lopez has more on this. Dave? Well, the case has never been closed, David, and it's more of a hunch than any real hard evidence, but the man who they think killed this little boy 25 years ago uh, is now on death row, Lee Crummel. This is where the fireworks stand was 25 years ago. Little Jeffrey Vargo had just told his mom and dad, I'm going to ride my bike just around the corner, less than 500 yards away, and I'm going to look at some sparklers. He never returned. It's been 25 years. Well, there's times it seems like it's been 25 years, and there's other times it seems like it was just, you know, yesterday. I mean. Bob and Connie Vargo still live in the same Anaheim Hills home that they did back then. They still drive every day through the same shopping complex where little Jeffrey was on his way to look at the fireworks stand. That awful day, 25 years ago, when he disappeared, only his bike was left behind, and less than 24 hours later, his lifeless body was found 20 miles away in Pomona. Every time a child abduction, uh, abduction case comes up, uh, like with this little Samantha Runyon a few years ago, I mean, it really, it, it really gets to me. Bob Vargo will tell you he's a bitter man. His son vanishes 25 years ago. The strangled body is found, and not one suspect has ever been arrested. Very few clues. Nothing. After 25 years. The system isn't working. In my opinion, the system does not work. So he vents by writing letters. This one to the register when he found out that the FBI was trying to find the body of Jimmy Hoffa. What about my boy, he asked. Recently it was Mother's Day, it was Father's Day. Uh, now it's going to be the 4th of July, which is always a, a hard time for us. We usually try to, to go on some kind of a vacation or trip out of town. Neither Anaheim nor Pomona detectives have ever officially closed the case, and one veteran detective feels that James Lee Crummel, a notorious child molester and currently on death row for the murder of a Costa Mesa boy, could be the suspect, could be the killer of Jeff Vargo. There's things, like I say, that, that tie him in with, with Jeffrey, and yeah, I'd, I'd want to kill him. Wow. Yes, I would. Unless Cromwell confesses, this murder, for now, remains a mystery. Little Jeffrey would have been 32 this summer. His 35-year-old brother, Mike, married with two daughters, has made the Vargos very happy grandparents. In fact, the youngest grandchild is a spitting image of Jeff. You know, you you dream about him sometimes, and, and even just recently you said that you had a dream about him, and I think that's God's way of letting us visit him for a little snippet of time. Anaheim no longer sells fireworks. They don't have a fireworks stand on this uh, spigot of land like they did 25 years ago. They stopped doing that a long, long time ago. From Anaheim, Dave Lopez, KCOM News.